Yeah, hello and welcome to the Banter Blitz show for today. What is that? July 11th, yeah. Semi final day for the World Cup. England, Croatia. And we're not going to collide with that match as um, exactly after the show football is starting. So let's get rolling and um, go to play right away. You all know about the 15% discount, right? So if you want to join, get premium, use my code. Canada's next GM. Is there a name? Nope. I'd like to know the name, eh? the next run master. Who was the latest Canadian GM? Probably Hamilton, right? They don't have that many. No, it's not playing. I mean, if you're a GM, you should have something against 1e4. No move. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it. No move. Okay. You can always challenge again later. Um, Alan Thomason. I tried to play him in the German show. It did not really work out. So we'll try again. Um, yeah. Anti G3. C4 B6 is quite okay, actually. It's not so bad. White is better, of course. It's not like you're equalizing easily, but it has this, it has this one virtue. It leads to uh, really weird positions. <laughs> and this can be beneficial against some people. Um, do I want to take? Maybe not. Only four, I mean, maybe now. Yeah, and now I've got a really neat bishop on c5. Got some pressure on f2. I had a game once in rapid chess where I very quickly won f2 in this line. It was really funny. Like I put everything on f2 and we just collapsed. No b4 for you. Okay, what is the deal here? Um, knight a4? Yeah, that's a, that's a strange move. I mean, I can do, I wanted to do this originally, but uh, then it, hmm, <laughs> and I was a little bit in doubt if that is really the, the best way to do it. Yeah, knight a4, I just take c4, right? It doesn't really work. Yeah, so what is the general consensus about the semi-final today? Is England going to win it or Croatia? Any, any opinions? I don't really see anything in the chat for the last few minutes, but it's kind of weird and un unusual. My opponent is not playing. Has the world? No. Has the world perished in the meantime? And <laughs> nobody chats. Nobody moves. But it looks kind of normal outside. Okay, I'm putting more pressure on F2. So I, a couple of things. F2 is attacked. Not sure I want to take it. It looks like a self pin if I do, but it is hanging with check. There's knight f3 check. 
and I take C4. I just want to pose problems. This one, yeah. Okay, um, knight f3 is one of the things that I felt is interesting. I would definitely be fine if he takes it. I wonder what happens if he is not taking it. That, that would be a really odd position. Knight f3, king h1. Yeah? Hmm. Knight f3, king h1, knight takes h2, king takes queen h6, check. It doesn't really work. I was thinking at the end, like I can take on f2 and so on. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Probably if I check him, he just takes it, yeah, and all this calculation that I'm doing is completely for naught takes f2 actually if I take it and he moves the king and I move my queen I don't think he has anything good like king h1 of uh, queen h6 there's nothing really something that I should have played a little bit quicker he has no good move now I believe I'm threatening bishop takes g3 that's an important point Yeah, that looks fine. I don't see a good move for white. Knight e2, there is knight g4 exactly. Or knight f3. Yeah, here I'm also threatening on um, b2. Knight f3 is also now a threat, but I, I, I expect um, I expected. Um, Bishop c1. Okay, <clears throat> knight f3 should win now, right? It's raining now at your place, Olaf. <laughs> okay. Hey, this stopped on my end. Is the maid and yeah, this also works but I, I was looking for a direct checkmate so let's play it simple Okay, so Alan Thomason resigned. Take the queen. I could have taken the queen. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, ah, the queen was hanging. That's, that, that would have been quite nice. <laughs> um, yeah, the queen. Eh? I take the queen. That would have been quite a good move. Yeah, anyway, yeah, as I explained in the German show, uh, which of course you um, maybe have not seen, or understood what I was saying. Uh, I'm really tired. <laughs> I 
I accepted a challenge actually. Software is lagging at the moment. Try to play Draw Knife of Death, but somehow it doesn't work. Ah, now I got the game. Um, hello. <laughs> what? What about this? Draw knife of death. Um, yeah, it, it sounds really, really uh, scary. So I'm going to play some concrete and steel defense. The Petrov. Drunken lawyer says back from dinner. Who, allow, who allowed you to take dinner? In the middle of my shows, something's not right here. Yeah, anyhow, that looks fairly sound and solid here. Yeah. I don't have a really bad piece and I have some ideas. Mostly to trade. <laughs> A4. What are you doing there? Okay, I'm going to do this. Actually, this is not such an intelligent move. Now that I think of it, because the knight on c3 was, wasn't the greatest piece ever. Yeah, no, that that was pretty stupid, what I did there. I mean, nothing outrageously terrible. He says boring stuff. You know, if you choose so scary names like that, I feel like, oh my goodness, he must be a really aggressive player and I'm just going to bore him to death, you know? If your username was Little Kitten, yeah, I would have played the dragon. No, not a draw. I'm not playing this for a draw, you know? It was a good move. I wanted to go d5. Hmm. Wanted to play d5 and try to fix some of those pawns on light squares if possible. No, that blunders d6. Should not do that. Okay. Maybe I can get d5 in. Again, it's not. Nothing fantastic, but quite clearly you're t you're playing for smallish, smallish things here. This is there something? I could take. I mean, is that how risky is taking? A bit. Um, but um, 
it's one of the ways to get a little bit of tension in the position. My name is Scary too. Reminds people of school with the explain part. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I wonder if he wants to take, you know, on age six, maybe. If there was some kind of bishop takes, king takes, queen h8. Anyhow, he played c5. How do we go about this? Maybe here, yeah? Like maybe I should have gone queen to c7. Hmm, that was better. Now I've got queen h8, queen d6, maybe it's going queen d6 then, but okay, then I've got queen d8, yeah, I can still try. I wondered actually if he takes it, maybe he's got some ideas with marching the king to a5. Okay, but he's not going to... That's not going to lead to something substantial. I always have knight to d7. Hmm, g5. Yeah, why not? Hmm, so he allows me to play f4, okay. f4 takes, takes. He says, well done. I'm not quite sure what. I mean, I still think it's, ra it's rather equal. Maybe I'm missing stuff. F4, this G4. I still don't have anything here. Still don't. Yeah, he's get he's getting this in. Ah, now we can try to win on time. The dead position A for the draw. And maybe I maybe I had a smallish something, I don't know. Yeah. You you shouldn't win, yeah. You shouldn't win. I don't think I have anything substantial here. It's it's the, the best chance that I had, you know. But um yeah. It was a bit like pressing water out of stone. Um okay. Um who am I going to play? Not Ganymedes, he's not a premium. Endurance. Maybe play endurance. 
yeah, you know, I tried to again press water out of stone in this game, <laughs> but eh, didn't work. It didn't work. Endurance. A fairly standard position here for the Nimzo Bogo complex. White is always a little bit better in such a position, but it tends to be very solid. B6. Now that I think of it, not the greatest move, but anyhow, it is going to be playable. I managed to freeze down the queen side, which is generally quite good news. That's a side where white is usually better, and on that side of the board, I don't see much happening. Yeah. Eh. I, sh I could have thought about blocking a4, yeah, that maybe that was a better choice but i have some i had some ideas here anyway so let's see how he goes about that i'm threatening knight takes h3 which is duly ignored i mean like completely ignored hmm. i'm not threatening it <laughs> that's the thing the queen is covering all this stuff Um, such a stupid moron I really am I really thought I'm doing all this stuff yeah so that I have an idea there and I don't have an idea it's just completely idiotic and then the whole thing doesn't make any sense because now c7 is, is attacked yeah and it's completely completely useless stuff what I did Yeah, but now where is he going with the queen? What's going on now? Can't do much really. Rook on the seventh is going to happen probably. Yeah, I'm really not happy about all this. I played this whole business to, to create some idea here on the king side. <laughs> there is just nothing. I mean absolutely zilch. I know that looks like the bad bishop on f1, but I need to tra trade stuff to get some space in this in this game. C six. C six. Yeah, he's doing a good job here. Doing a good job. Never going to threaten anything here with those absolutely stupid looking pieces. Yeah. Remarkable.
Yeah, if C7 falls, the whole position is just toast. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, he's not currently threatening to take on C7. Now, that's really not the case, but because of the back rank. But um, yeah, it's pretty. It is pretty bad. Probably even Queen F3. Yeah, it doesn't look like a very yeah doesn't look particularly right but it could be it is maybe just good for concrete reasons i can take take h3 but c7 is dropping I saw the move, I mean, but you can still try because, I mean, people with a rating like that, they tend to make some big mistakes once in a while, but queen f3, queen f3 is strong. Yeah, I have no, I have no decent move, I mean, what can I do? Queen h5 was really bad. <laughs> Hoping for some miracle. Pfft, it's got even. Even free and queen f5 chick on top of everything. Fantastic. Things get better and better. <laughs> they get better and better. Ah, anyway, come on, let's do something crazy. Normal, normal measures don't work anyway. I mean that that doesn't work either but <laughs> uh, even if he takes it I'm really not sure what my move is Queen g5 or something My edge is completely lost. But it irritated him. Hmm. Take d5. What is that? A take here. No, no, it's almost working. Anyway, I don't understand that move at all. Yeah, I never, I never expect a single move that he plays. Yeah, position is winning now for me. But probably doesn't matter Losing on time. 
Yeah, and I, I blunder the rook. Man. Yeah, that was pretty awful. That was a pretty awful position somehow. And the chat, what is this? What about the chat? Did the chat crash down? I didn't get a single message like for seven minutes. That was also quite irritating. Yeah, anyhow, good game endurance. Um, I played I played a really bad game there. Really bad game. Sandra B's Revenge. So what what about our rating? Yeah, that was that was really taking that was a uh, it was pretty awful, especially after white allows a 5a4, you should absolutely not lose with black. But the kingside operation there that I was starting was extremely, extremely naive. And was duly punished. I can also just take the pawn on d5. I shouldn't have taken what kind of a bad move was that. That was extremely bad, you know, developing developing her or him or <laughs> I'm just a pawn up there after this this bad opening. And now she's getting getting this back here on d4. And it's it's really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, now I have nothing, of course. That's the problem, eh? D5 was just blundered for nothing. And then this way I've got absolutely zilch. If anything, black is better, yeah, with the bishop. But I mean, I'm not exactly scared here, yeah, but. What about a7? I cannot take that for some reason or... Don't know. Hmm. Hmm. It was hanging one move earlier, but I felt rook 81 was better anyway. Using the default pin. I don't know why he gave me that pawn. It's still not something particularly simple to convert to a full point, that pawn. I should probably, I should have played some move that gives me a little bit of extra security on the back rank. <clears throat> G3, for, for example, looks very normal here. But I wanted to get knight d5 into the picture, the knight d5, knight f6 ideas. 
Yeah, still, maybe I should have gone G3. Yeah, here I have rook d5. It's, a, it's an annoying move. It was another idea of the queen, and it looks at the rook there on c8. I mean, that's not the end of the world, probably. Um, knight e4, maybe it is the end of the world. Lots of things hanging now. C5, the queen. Yeah, I can I can take with the knight simply. Rook takes. I'm still on the c8 rook. Yeah, rook takes, rook c1, check would have been awkward, to say the least. Yeah, and Sandra B's revenge resigns. Not much of revenge, oops. Revenge for what? What did I do to you? Anyway, um, we have Damavi, Damavi 1. At least I'm staying comfortably above 2700. Yep. I'm not even trying to keep that pawn. I think uh, just returning it gives white a comfortable small advantage. I go all the way back, that's easiest. And C4 next looks fine. Yeah, it's very sound development here. The bishop on c8 is not really great, so I should have a small advantage, not claiming much more, but it is quite comfortable to play. Okay. Please go away. Go back. Don't return. <laughs> okay, well, he's got bishop f6 maybe, but I have bishop e3 and I don't know, that doesn't really help him all that much. Hmm. Ah, that's a, that's a nice idea. Okay, but if I take, I can actually take, why not? The resulting position looks quite nice. Looks a bit like I'm a couple of tempi up. Yeah, the c8 bishop is still not going anywhere. My idea is rook e c1, c5, b5, c6, and so on. Yeah, I mean here, queen to c6. Is that... Hmm. Okay, queen b7 is not a move anyway. Uh, bishop b7, I mean because of queen d7. That's what I'm trying to say, but I can, I can do this and play c5, it cannot be bad. It's not really possible to be bad. I have so many <laughs> extra tempi here. A 
Okay, the first threat now is to just take on b6. If I go queen c6 now, what is happening? Rook b8, I guess. But I can... I can just threaten that. There's nothing wrong about it. And now, like c6. c6, bishop a6, bishop b7, things like that. Okay, c7. Yeah, Schelling Ford is not around. Yeah, he's currently playing, um, playing in a GM tournament even, but mostly fighting for his IM norm in Lüneburg, Germany. Oh no, that would blunder stuff. But Schilling is doing okay, right? He's on 50%, I think. Did I, did I read that correctly? 50% should be a chance yeah, to get an IM norm. I mean, it is, a, it is not a very um, high, um, the, the, the average rating, that's what I'm trying to say, is not very high for a GM tournament. So he probably has to score plus one in it, I think. It, it should be the IM norm score. Talking about all this, I blundered the a3 pawn. One of the very few possibilities not to win this game. How much of an idiot can you be? Eh? I did I, I, I didn't really pay attention anymore. It was basically an autopilot win. Not anymore. So what's going on now? Bishop e4 could be an idea. This prepares bishop a6. Is really one of a very unnecessary kind of what happened here was very unnecessary is what I'm trying to say. Maybe I'm still okay but Basically, bishop b6, bishop a6 is what I want to do. Hmm. T 
Чем? I see no real way to win the game. I rook, wait, rook d8, bishop c5, how does he save that? Mm. It's not threatening to capture this, right? I have no time though. Probably I'm blundering something. Or can you move this at one point while I don't see someone? It's funny, it's made, yeah. Bishop d7 and uh, promote to mate. Yeah, I know, I just wanted to try. And um, I mean, the position was like so winning before I blundered a3, like here. It's just, um, I mean, I'm not even material down for this. And then I blundered a3, which is super stupid. Okay, thanks for the game, Damavi. Um, who else? Yeah, we have. Cat weasel and <laughs> namesake, yeah, a couple of regulars in. Yeah, C8 rook here yeah, is uh, the a bit more stylish way to mate them. Namesake again, the Scandinavian. Didn't we have something? Didn't we have a game last week with this? I didn't look it up. <laughs> want to trade that much like knight e4 or something it's a bit oh he wants to trade okay now I will push every pawn b4 f4 g4 sounding a horn while doing it du -du -du -du. You should play c5. I mean, you cannot just stay around there the whole time. Yeah. Not sure that my timing was excellent with all those, with all those um, pushes. But generally speaking, I wanted to gain a bit of space, so I did. Yeah, e4 is a bit weak. There is no way to deny that, but still. Oh wow, many abbreviations in the chat. 
GVP HITDL LOL Ne, no LOL <laughs> Anyway, what did he do there, namesake? Is that good? Uh, I don't know, there are many things hanging Knight e4, it looks, it looks a bit it looks a bit odd. So, um, where do I put this now? Got B4 also. B4. Last time I looked, two bishops are better than two knights. And if you don't believe that, print out this position in this format. Yeah, put it on your wall. Bishops are stronger than knights. Okay. Would love to win the second night, <laughs> but that won't happen. Uh, maybe it will. No good move. Okay. It's, it's just the simplest. Can completely trap the rook here. Rook G7 is a funny self made. <laughs> Rook E8. Okay. Don't want the Rook to get out. square for you I really want to win the <laughs> Rook, <laughs> but I cannot. That is a, that's not fair. Yeah. Okay. So it is getting out. This. a little bit pointless to play this I'm sorry but given that there are other players that want the game and I've my two minutes up okay yeah thanks for the game namesake too many knights. Too many knights. Too not enough bishops. Okay, let's play Schrummel. Schrummel has what's that? Frank Zappa? I think so. Hey, 
Hey, I get a huge center early on. It's nice. It's one of those cases where if you are black in a reverse King Linian, being a tempo down can sometimes be beneficial. Like here, I have never played knight to f6 like knight f3 is played in the King Linian often. And that allowed me to play h5, h4 in a situation where white had already castled, which is extremely important. If you have not castled, then the h pawn push is far less um, of an issue. This way you can just expand like crazy on the king side. Knight c4 now is interesting. I think I will go f6. Now I'm happy to play f6. Maybe he's got some play there with queen b3 or b4 or something it's possible because what i'm doing here is a little bit on the slow side to put it in a nice way i mean i played how many pawn moves three six nine nine out of twelve yeah i could have calculated that in a, in a clever way yeah The profile prick of Schummel is Frank Zappa, not a disillusioned person. <laughs> I think it's Zappa, <laughs> at least. What? What are you doing there, Schummel? It's not working. I don't believe that it works. And Frank Zappa resigns. Thanks for playing, Schrummel. Battery Bob. Okie dokie. E4. Against Mr. Bob. Does he play? Yeah, the Karo two knights. And again, I get the two bishops. Don't tell anybody. I'd like to have them. Ah, yeah. yeah, this is interesting. I think knight g5 is not great in this position. Knight g5, knight f6, queen b3, knight d5, queen b7. There is some problem with this pawn grab. I think it's better to play something normalish like this. Yeah, I don't know. Queen d5 sometimes gets played against me in such a situation. They don't want to trade everything after queen d5. Yeah, I'm just taking this very slowly. In 
the blitz game here, when you give me the two bishops just like that, I'm just going to treat this like a material op. Just not going to rush anything. Rather shuffle back and forth and will expand later. Okay. He's doing the expansion for me. Don't mind that. Go away. And he goes away. <laughs> what else was there? Yeah, okay, let's expand this. Still not threatening on a7. Okay. Hmm, okay. I, w I wanted to go queen to d4. But, um, yeah. Uh, maybe queen to g4 was interesting now. Why is that playable, what he's doing here? I don't think it is. It should be a bit of, bit of a pain here to cover the c6 pawn. Knight d5, bishop b7, knight e7, b5, and No, that actually doesn't work. But I can play a4, b5. a4, b5. Yeah, that, that should that, that, that should that should work. That should work. Yeah, heavy rains in India. Is that a usual? Is that usual for this time of the year? You have got those rain periods. Bishop is also completely dominating the knight. Is this um, it's this typical situation, this typical distance? Always those three squares. And just stop the majority. And now we go. Go. Run, forest, run. But it's not forest, yeah, that would be A or B pawn. I don't know, Archie, Archie and uh, whatever, Boris or something. <laughs> yeah, Bob. 
it's battery Bob, so it's Bob, Bob and Archie. <laughs> anyway, thanks for um, thanks for the game, battery Bob. Um, King Kate sixty six is that the right word? Yeah, King Kate. Let's do it. And again, e four. <laughs> Watching the stream at 144 pixels. Yeah, that sounds like a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, I have to have to uh, admit it, it does. B for Bobby. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Okay, King Kate 66. Any moves? Got a Sicilian. I don't really remember having many Sicilians today after 1e4. I had. It's not like there wasn't a single one, but. It is usually one of the most popular moves, so... Is that three minute chess? Yeah, three minute, no increment, no nothing. I'm preparing d4 here, and I think at the end this is always going to be a slight advantage for white. The remaining pawn structure is just a little bit awkward for black. Yeah, the c and d pawn, they are long-term problems. Hmm, okay. Queen f6, I take d6. Hmm, I thought. Anything? No. There's no reason not to take it, I think. And this is a nice piece on c5. Yeah, rook d2 runs into knight e4. Yeah, so he's not going to be able to play that. Yeah, how to win this? Probably a, a minor piece ending is the the simplest way to do it. So I'm trying to go for that. Okay. Yeah, now if he moves the bishop, rook e7 is. Um, part of this position, not immediately possible after bishop c8 as king d6 is a double attack, but it's very close. Um, yeah, That is useful anyway. That threatens mate. Rook b7 checkmate. Hmm. Is there a way to mate him? Maybe a4, a5, and knight c5 mate. Maybe he has to play rook b7 now to not get into the direct checkmate. Okay, um, I can go c5 check, king a6, it's like b5, 
There is no mate. There's really no mate. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, a minor piece ending is extremely good for me. I'm just not not looking for much more than that if I get it. Yeah, that's it for the C6 ball. I have 37 seconds. That's something that I should not forget. It makes it makes it a little bit more a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, thanks for playing King Kate 66. Okay, so who else is challenging? We've got the drunken lawyer, so why not? He's on often. Yeah, thanks for the message message um our rush bee. Yeah, I would like to play 3-2 here, but they, they don't challenge me to it. <laughs> it's okay, I mean, 5-0 and 3-0, um, I think has pretty good entertainment value. I'm, I'm happy to take those challenges if they are around. So... Yeah, so we have this game, maybe um, one more, and then uh, we can, I'll call it a day, going to, yeah, the, the, the football match is just around the corner, so. Ah, three plus two challenges are not rated. That is funky. Why not? <laughs> Doesn't that count to blitz rating? It's official feeder blitz time control. And it's not rated. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Trying to reroute a little bit. So it is rated. Yeah, it was it would have been strange. I mean, I always thought that you can basically when you challenge that you can um, you can challenge rated or unrated just like um, like set this flag or not What I'm trying to claim here is that C4 is never really helping black. I just go back to F1. 
you can certainly go a5 a4 with black that's probably what I would do Now I have c4. I could have played c4. Ah, I should have played it immediately, of course, because then he cannot move the. I wanted to have this in the. I have this idea now, but I could have played c4 immediately, as the d pawn can, cannot move. Okay, it's nothing. It wouldn't have like won me the game, but <laughs> it would have been nice to have this in. That was a big, big miss, actually. I mean, big miss sounds, um, no, it wasn't like a very stale. Yeah, I mean, I understand where you're coming from, but I have played a ton of games with this opening and I've won so many you cannot count. Um, queen d8 in this particular moment uh, doesn't help much. Hard to see my. <laughs> and it's my small muck. It's. Uh, it's green. B a d4. I want this pawn. Bishops are better than knights, you know. <laughs> now, okay, I'm making fun here, but it's not. This is in fact not untypical of this line that you end up in a scenario like that. Yes, it's nice to have the pawn, but. Having this, uh, being able to play against this knight is pretty, pretty nice. Rook c7. Rook c7 and rook c5. Cannot really handle both. Yeah, thanks for the game, drunken lawyer. So one more game. I would like to get. Um, let's go for a three-minute game. Is there a three-minute challenge out? No. The first three-minute challenge I'm going to take and play. Just three minute, no increment, and that will be the final game so that everybody can watch the whole semi-final. And the first three minutes, yeah, it is Olaf, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, come on.
It's not a glass cup. It's, I think it's really China. Oh, there's a remark in the chat that I could have taken d4 quicker. Uh, possible, yeah, it's possible. So, this is, um, <laughs> somewhat uncommon position. The question is, oftentimes, what about those knights? Knight on e5 looks good, and this knight is kind of all over the place. Hmm. It, it looks dangerous for white. Like there are some tactics brewing. Queen f1 is a self made. Oh, Olaf. Oh, ook. But we get to see the football match now. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Thanks for the game, though. Ah. So what are we going to do? One bullet game. One bullet game is possible. Give me one bullet game and that will be the end of the, the whole show tonight. Do we have a bullet game? Just one. <laughs> yeah, Putrov. Yeah, the last in opening, 1b3. Oh, oh, oops. Ah, man, there's no mate. Yeah, that was that was extremely stupid. Why did I go there? <laughs> now I have to do something something wacky. It still might work somehow. Yeah, I'm just playing for mate, <laughs> claiming that he cannot get his stuff coordinated, which is probably... probably an assumption that it's not wrong. Bullet is such a useless way of spending time. <laughs> but we got to exactly the timestamp that was that is useful. Yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the somewhat earlier shows. And now most of us will probably watch the semi-final of the World Cup. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back next week. Bye bye.